I'm out here at Wise Tech Engineering down in Anaheim. Here we are out at, here we are out at Wise Tech. Ta-da! <laughs> this is probably one of the dream places that I wish my shop even remotely resembled. These guys do a phenomenal job tuning more of the modern cars, turbocharger upgrades, ECU tuning, and so on. They're helping me dyno the CTSV to get a baseline of how much power it makes before and after a little special something. Silent nights recalling you A souvenir of what it could be Pieces of my mind are yours I forgot the parts I'm missing The car is currently making about 570, 577 horsepower, a far cry from the 620 that it made in Michigan. The biggest difference is I haven't cleaned the air filter in God knows how long with all of Michigan's sleet, snow, and muck running straight through it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it wasn't that color when it started out. She's beautiful. Oh, oh, there's a hint of red. There's a hint of red right there. Let's hope that cleaning the air filter makes a noticeable difference, or I'm losing power somewhere out here in California probably all the green laws and all the things trying to keep the environment safe. That is impressive. It went from 575 to 615, a 40 horsepower difference just because of a negligent owner and a dirty air filter. All right, so I originally stated that it gained about 40 horsepower, but that was looking at total overall numbers. In this case, point for point at the same RPM, it was closer to 50. Let's check right here. Wow, yep. We were here to film something completely different, but this was mind-blowing that the Air Raid air filter, basically looks like a K&N type of thing, was so restrictive that throughout the entire power band, it was very linear, that we lost up to 50 horsepower, give or take, 50 horsepower and almost that in torque, throughout the entire power band. Absolutely nuts how much of a difference a dirty air filter makes on a forced induction car. Obviously, I don't run air filters on my turbos. I just let them eat the rocks and deal with the consequences later. But for a civilized, rational human being, changing your air filter might be a good thing. How much, do, how much does this car have to do with the four rotor? How much does this have to do with the four rotor? Admittedly, from the surface, not much. But once you start digging in, you realize there's a lot going on. <laughs>